So you guys getting excited for the series finale of Breaking Bad? <laughs> My DVR has been recording all of the episodes. They've been doing the marathon like for the past few days. Um, so it's kind of fun to catch up on some of the old episodes. The, Breaking Bad is the best series ever. Ever put on television by far. But I hope the last show isn't a letdown. I hope it's not like The Sopranos. <laughs> Anyways, I'll leave that on in case you get bored with this video. You can always look at that. Big shout out to Tony Byram who sent me some stuff this week. Three pins that he made including this one which has buttons, plastic buttons embedded into it. And I thought that was really cool. And he's got his own YouTube channel. Check out his YouTube channel where he actually shows how he made this pin. And he sent me these two little puzzle things. This one here, I, he did these on a scroll saw, at least this one I think. See, it comes apart like into all these pieces and then it's really hard to get back together. <laughs> but it was really cool. And then this, this is a spiral thingy. See? It's two kinds of wood and it all comes apart. So anyways, that was really cool and thanks a bunch. Tony, remember last week I asked you for your questions, so I got a bunch of questions I printed out here and I'll just go right through them, see what we, we come up with. Do you have ADHD? Uh, why do you always stop mere minutes at an awkward place and you have a funny face? When I'm done talking, I'm done talking. I don't see a need for any kind of elaborate outro or intro. Can you build something possibly car related? Probably not. I'm not sure what I would make for the car. And I'm really horrible with cars. I'm not a mechanic. I once drained the transmission fluid in a car thinking it was oil. <laughs> a few key power tools a woodworker should start out with. Any kind of a saw. You could do woodworking with just a circular saw, a skill saw. But if you want to get into setting up a shop, definitely start out with a table saw. Second most important tool I think is a router. I should say that if you just want to go to the hand tool route, and when I say hand tools, I mean power to hand tools. I'm not one of these weirdos who wants to really pound nails. But if, uh, I'm sorry, I, I, I just offended the whole weirdo community. No, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not against hand tools at all. If that's what you know you like to do, that's fine. But when I say hand tools, I mean like a powered jigsaw. If you wanted to just use handheld power tools, get a handheld jigsaw. You can do a lot with it. I'm glad nobody watches this mere minutes thing. <laughs> what hobbies do you have other than woodworking and gardening? I'm not really into gardening that much to tell you the truth. I do it because I kind of have to. I like to watch TV. <laughs> Breaking Bad, that's a, a hobby that is sadly coming to an end tonight. I'm starting to build my tool arsenal and it's hard to know what brand or model is right for me. Do you have any general advice? Uh, yes, I would just get whatever you can find that is inexpensive and fits your budget. Don't fall into this trap that you have to spend a lot of money on tools because for the hobbyist, inexpensive tools will usually work out fine because you're not going to be using them eight hours a day every day. How do you make the videos inter how do you make the videos informing and short? Uh, I actually spend a lot of time making them short. It's harder to make a short video than it is a long video because it takes a lot of cutting and it takes a lot of figuring out what is important important, what do you really want to say, and just getting rid of all of the crap. How about a small workbench? Actually, I do have a video on making a workbench, so you, you might have just missed that one. Ginger or Mary Ann? <laughs> Mary Ann, of course. Betty or Wilma? Which one had the bone in her hair? That bone was pretty hot. Fred or Ginger? I assume you mean Fred Astaire, but I'll go with Fred Flintstone. What's your worst woodworking screw up? Oh, probably a guitar stand that I made last Christmas for my son. This is the guitar stand. This was the head part that would fit in and it just broke off. It's actually the only video I've ever shot that I never posted because it turned out so awful and I was I thought this was such a cool idea and I had it set up on Christmas morning and I think it was a day or two later it just went and it just busted and so it was I guess it was a poor design, but I'd like to revisit it sometime in the future. I've had a lot of people asking me to put together a video just about finishing wood, so I think I may do that in the future. If you had any superpower, what would it be and what would you use it for? I think the only superpower I would want is the ability to not have to sleep, really. I think sleep sleeping really cuts into, <laughs> into everything I want to do. Do you think you'll be doing any big multiple video projects? Probably not. I'm really trying to keep my videos and my projects as accessible as possible possible and those longer projects just cut out a large portion of the audience. Is there anybody in there? Just several species of small furry animals gathered together in a cave and grooving with a pick. Here's a good question. What tool did you find the most intimidating when you first got started? And I have to honestly say, I, I, tools have never intimidated me. It's kind of 
more about the procedures of using those that can be intimidating. The tool itself really doesn't do anything other than just spin. So don't be intimidated by tools at all. Be more intimidated by your approach to using them. Do you watch the Europe Basketball Championship? No, I don't watch any kind of basketball at all. Basketball is the most boring sport next to baseball. Baseball, basketball just bore me to tears. In fact, I'm just not a sportsman. I watch football. I'm a football fan. I'm not even a football fan. I'm an NFL fan. So, and even more so, I'm really just kind of a, a Niners and Oakland Raiders fan. So. I don't know. Uh, is that a new bandsaw? No, I've had my bandsaw for getting close to 15 years now and it works great. I'm not gonna tell you what brand it is. Can you say something in Dutch? Sure. Ik hoed van hoed be werking. I've had a few people asking me about that Japanese looking print on the wall. It's actually from a stage set. It's from the Mikado and they were just gonna throw it away and I wanted the circle and then I saw that it had that picture on it and I just thought it was kind of cool. What kind of shampoo do I use? Well, actually I don't know because I'm married and when you're married your wife does all of that buying of stuff. <laughs> but I do have a tip for you. Here's a tip that I've just started doing. You know how you have your shampoo and you have your conditioner and to save time, you just make one of those two-in-one. You know, I figured, well, you could buy the two-in-one shampoo and conditioner, so what I do is I do one squirt of the shampoo and one squirt of the conditioner all at once and just do it and you're done with it. <laughs> have your neighbors ever complained about the noise? No, I have loud neighbors. Plus, I gotta say, woodworking really isn't all that noisy, except for short periods of time when you're running something through a saw, say, but for the most part, it's not that noisy. Has my wife ever complained about the sawdust? No, she's busy buying shampoo <laughs> and making me a sandwich. What's been your favorite project so far this year? Uh, I'd have to say that little wheelbarrow I made. I, I was really proud of that and a lot of people have made that project and it was an easy one. What spray adhesive do you use with your paper templates? Um, I don't know, anything, whatever is I can find at the hardware store, they're all about the same. Right now I think I've got a can of, uh, it's the same brand that makes white school glue. How much wood can a woodchuck chuck? 42. Can you show how your home looks with the garage from the street? Sure. There's my front yard with the purple bench. I built this boardwalk years and years ago. This is a huge oak tree and we really can't plant anything under it where we can cause problems with the tree. And then right there is my shop way down there. This is Wyatt's car. There's my truck and this is our town car. <laughs> and then this is the house. The house is, is pretty small. It's only 1,400 square feet. And right, here we are inside of my shop. So it's just a two car garage. It's uh, never had any cars parked in it. Where do I get the ideas and inspirations for my projects? Well, I get a lot from viewers and I come up with things that I need around the house. And a lot of what I do is, is I don't really really invent anything I just take something like this week's the calendar the birthday calendar which people have done before but then I just try to figure out well how can I make it interesting or in this case I decided I wanted to make it kind of more woodworking-y than it would have been with just a board and just some names on it <laughs> so I just try to add a little something to it oh this is this is the monologue with Badger talking about Star Trek it was, <laughs> it was a pretty cool moment uh, anyways, so I guess that's about all for the questions. I hope maybe I got yours in and answered something. Here's my outro. Thank you for watching. I'm now going to be leaving.